The GOP-led Arizona election audit resumes tomorrow, as many Republicans themselves call on the state Senate to put a stop to it. They're joining Democrats in their criticism, some describing the audit as a, quote, clown car farce and unacceptable. The audit of ballots had been paused so that this facility you see here, the Coliseum, could be used for high school graduations. Meantime, some high-profile Republicans are doubling down. It is my belief that Arizona will be the launch pad for elections audits and elections integrity efforts all over this great country. We might be seeing the results of those calls from Congressman Matt Gates. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first, we are joined now by Maricopa County Supervisor Steve Gallardo. And Supervisor, it's, it's good to see you. Um, as a Phoenix journalist, I've interviewed you many times, especially when you were in the legislature. You're the only Democrat on the 5C board, but even your colleagues are now saying enough is enough. And you were on with Rachel Maddow this week. You said the state Senate's accused you of crimes. They've called for you to be arrested. What are the long-term impacts from this? Well, the, 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 the long term is our election integrity. It is, this is uh, it's hurting our democracy. It's putting doubt in, uh, in our election system uh, that is not needed. The fact is that we, our elections in 2020 were safe, secure, and accurate. Unfortunately, you have some uh, here in Arizona and across the country uh, that are not happy with the elections results. So they're trying to figure out a way to undermine the will of the voter. Uh, they're also using this audit to push uh, voter suppression bills right here in the legislature. How do we make it harder for people of color, people uh, of low income, uh, elderly folks? How do we make it harder for them to vote? That's what this is all about. It's about undermining the will of the voters. It's about voter suppression bills. It's trying to keep people uh, from voting on Election Day. That's what this is all about. And you're seeing the impact uh, to the credibility of our democracy. We have hundreds of thousands of people that work every year to conduct and put on elections. These are professional election staff. These are professionals that work every year to conduct elections, and and they're calling their work uh, in, in 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 into question. And mail-in voting in Arizona has been very successful. It has been smoothly run for years. I have always voted by mail. Uh, but The Hill is reporting that Senate President herself, Karen Fan, is now distancing herself from this, saying in a closed-door meeting, I have said from the get-go I am relatively sure we weren't going to find anything of any magnitude that would imply that any intentional wrongdoing was going on. So then what's the purpose of prolonging this audit? President Fan is, is one of the biggest conspiracy theorists out there. She has been the one on the forefront pushing it. This is her audit. This is her, her baby. She hired these consultants. These consultants have no credibility. They have no experience. They've never done any type of an election on it, as you're seeing right now in Maricopa County. Uh, this has been just a circus, and she needs to be held responsible for it. She needs to take ownership of it. This is her. She can end this if she wants to. We have been calling for her to stop this audit for the last 100 days or so. And, and she continues to want to push it. She continues to want to uh, 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 double down on it. Uh, she can stop this if she wants to. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't have the political will or, or the courage to do it. It's not even being controlled by her. It's being controlled by people, or at least pushing her from people outside the legislature. But if she wanted to, she can say, it's enough's enough. We're no longer going to fund this. We're going to put an end to this audit. Unfortunately, the folks on the outside are pushing her not to. Supervisor, quickly, I only have about a minute left with you, but I wanted to ask you about that uh, comment from Congressman Gates that I believe he said while he was in the state of Arizona, saying that your state was going to become the launch pad for this to happen in other states. Are, are you fearful that that will happen and that Arizona really will be a model for this? I, I definitely hope not. We're going to continue to push back. We're going to continue to hold these auditors uh, to to uh, to account. Uh, we're going to question everything they come out with in terms of their uh, report. Uh, what we conducted in 2020 was a safe, secure, and accurate election. Unfortunately, their candidate, uh, the Republican, Senate Republican candidate, lost Arizona. They have to uh, deal with it. They have to understand and tell the voters the truth. Our elections were safe, secure, and accurate.